Family of a New Britain man says he is fighting flesh-eating bacteria. NBC Connecticut's Caitlin Burke. She'll talk to experts who say they're seeing more cases of this skin infection. She joins us live now in New Britain with the story you'll only see here on NBC Connecticut. And Caitlin, these infections are becoming more prevalent in people with compromised immune systems. That's exactly right. So the risk is higher for these folks with compromised immune systems. And the doctor we spoke today said he's seeing more and more folks who are dealing with these compromised immune system issues, like, you know, getting uh, some kind of um, any, anything, you know, if you have a cancer treatment or any kind of sickness. Now, we spoke to a family of a New Britain man, 68 years old, who said he received, uh, he got this bacteria after visiting a Connecticut beach. He immediately was rushed here at the end of June, and he He's been getting treatment ever since. Yeah, I don't think there's anything unique about Connecticut as a state in terms of these types of infections. Well, Dr. Joseph Gardner couldn't talk about certain cases in particular today. He says the public uses the term flesh-eating bacteria quite broadly. Different bacteria cause it. You know, some more commonly, others rarely. The most common cases are necrotizing fascias caused by a group A strep, essentially an aggressive skin infection. But this summer, we've heard about flesh-eating bacteria contracted in the ocean. The family of a New Britain man says their dad got sick after swimming at Hamanasset Beach with a cut on his leg. Particularly in warmer waters, the Gulf Coast, but in the summer it can extend up to New England. Uh, there are bacteria called vibrios. Those who have compromised immune systems, like transplant recipients, for example, are more prone to flesh-eating bacteria and should be extra careful if they have an open wound. I think you probably want to avoid waiting in seawater until it heals up. Since 2010, the CDC has tracked approximately 700 to 1,200 cases of necrotizing fasciitis caused by group A strep each year in the United States. While rare, Dr. Garner says, pay serious attention to these symptoms. If you have any sort of skin injury, you know, clean it well. If you begin to develop redness, fever, increasing pain locally, that's an indication to contact your health care provider and let them make a decision about how serious it is or not. Well, coming up in the 6 o'clock hour, my colleague Jamie Ratliff takes over team coverage of this story. She's speaking to the family of the New Britain man right now. You'll hear from them at 6. In New Britain, Caitlin Burchill, NBC Connecticut News.